Uh, yeah, okay. So uh, let's start by the usual question I ask uh, in the at the beginning of exercises. So are there any questions or any comments to what we've done yesterday? Feel free, really, it's, you know, I know that uh, most of people are a bit shy, but there are no stupid questions. And I guess that, you know, if you want to know something, it's good to ask simply and then try to learn. I have a stupid question, actually. There are no stupid questions. I just said it. <laughs> okay. Well, it? no, it's um, so when we um, yesterday, uh, Angela defined AG as the um, upper half space, the Siegel upper half space mod out by the action of uh, the symplectic group. So I, I have two questions, actually, maybe very um, naive. So the first question is, why do you have to take the symplectic um, group on the rational numbers? Like, is there any reason why or? OK, this is the first one. And then maybe the, the, the second one is also, I didn't understand the, the computation of the dimension. Because so why does uh, modding out doesn't lower the dimension? That's what I didn't understand. OK, so uh, let's give me a second. Yeah. Uh, or I mean, also, if someone else has other questions, please go ahead. I don't want to. We have time. Let's. OK, so just to tell you, uh, now I will just hide the, the videos so it, uh, I may. OK, so we have AG, yes? And we said that AG is HG divided by SP of something, yes? And OK, so the first question is, uh, the first answer is uh, uh, somewhat uh, is a good question. So usually we want to write here Z, yes? And if you have a principal polarization, you really can write Z here and everything is okay. But then if you start with a non-principal polarization, uh, you, have, uh, you have in some sense a problem or you have two different uh, groups and two different actions uh, that gives you the, the same uh, thing in the, in the end. So uh, either you do SPQ, so you you allow uh, you allow rational coefficients, uh, and then the action is the same. So okay, we have a different group acting on HG, or you take SPZ, the, the the thing that you like, but then the action will be twisted by this D, which is okay. the uh, which is the polarization type. So, uh, you know, in some sense, first of all, you know, if you write SPQ and you write the, this equation that it has to be, and it has to satisfy the, uh, the equation with the polarization, you will, you know, for principal polarization, you will get it SPZ anyway. So that's why it's not that, uh, it's not that, uh, Stupid to think about Q, yeah. So the uh, Angela was uh, having in mind more general construction. That's why we she wrote SPQ. So this is the first thing, and the second thing is that uh, again, uh, it's similar to you know for G equal one case, yes, uh, that you have, yes, you have something like, like that, yes. The uh, so you. In order to show the okay, so the, in order to show that the dimension does not uh, go down, you re, you really need to show that SP uh, acts, and actually you know you, you have to show it. And I think in the we can hack a longer, wait a second, uh, chapter eight. I will find it in a second, and I will show you that SP you know SP uh, SP needs to act. Uh, it acts probably what. Uh, Locally, uh, locally free, yes, and uh, actually not 
uh, wait a second so that you just you just need to compute the uh, you need to to find the action or uh, not to find but to uh, find the properties of the action and you will see that it does not uh, change the dimension okay. wait a second i will just find the the correct statement i think this would be like the easiest the easiest way mm, okay yeah the analytic model is space okay Uh, so now I probably need to share screen uh, with with uh, Kalanga. Okay. So as I uh, wait a second, I need to probably make it a bit bigger. So as I said, uh, as uh, here is the the argument about your uh, first questions. Yes. So sometimes. Uh, you want to uh, have integer coefficients and then the action is a bit different or you want the action to be uh, the, the usual action and then you need to take the different group yeah so this is uh, this is what uh, what we uh, what we said uh, okay. what I said before and this is this is just how it is and uh, in terms of uh, your second question, you just yeah okay. So you you have to show that the the action is proper and discontinuous, and then the dimension will uh, okay. stay uh, will stay the same. So that's the okay. That's, so it's it's just the way the action works. Yes. That's yeah. um... yes. So you know, in some sense, you can try to to find uh, yeah. This is this is how I see it at least. Okay. So yeah, so this is the the answer to your questions. Are so basically, any... this means that if they are in the same equivalence class, um, they are also connected by an action. That's yes, 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 and vice versa. I mean, yes, 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 yeah. So you know, so the idea is that actually, so if you want to, uh, you know, if uh, the HG really, yes, the HG is really like the moduli of abelian varieties with a with a with a varieties with a symplectic basis. Yes, with okay. a symplectic basis. Okay. Yes, because this is exactly if you see Z here. Yes, and ZD usually you, you, we write like that. Yes, then uh, then that th this H equal the inverse image of the imaginary part of Z. Yes, and this is exactly uh, this H. Uh, this is the matrix. Okay, so maybe not. We will not. I don't want to write it like that because it may be confusing. Uh, in Z is the matrix of H in a basis uh, E1 up to e, e, D, e, e, G, yes? So, and D, if you remember, this is the diagonal. Uh, MZ is the matrix of H, yes, and then and then H restricted to to this uh, to the to this lattice. Uh, you can just you know you, you will comp you can compute it uh, Z times MZ inverse times D. The imaginary part of the of the, of those will be exactly D. So uh, what you can do in order to have the same uh, the same the isomorphic abelian uh, variety, you can change the the matrix by the uh, you can change the basis to by the symplectic action. Yes? Okay. So, okay. 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 I see. Actions, and then and then uh, Z will still be uh, in the 
uh, in the upper half space. Yes, so this is more or less the same thing as you're doing uh, in the genus one. Yes, so you can you have one and tau, and you can change it by some uh, SL action. Yes, and you will have one and, and another tau. Yes, that's the, that's the idea more or less. So uh -huh. so yeah, so that's okay. I think Thank this you. is. This is the, the answer. Okay, are there any more questions? Uh, yes. So uh, I just uh, came up like 15 minutes ago with another exercise or question, just for some of you maybe to, to think about, because uh, you may uh, you may have a feeling that you know we are working with prims, uh, and we get all the Jacobians that are not uh, simple. Uh, yes, they have abelian varieties, and you know you may think that this prim theory will solve any any uh, any problem like that in some sense. So that the uh, having sub varieties is more or less the same as having some kind of prim of something. Yes, so because there are lots of lots of those. So there is an exercise to show you that the prim's construction is very nice, but it doesn't solve uh, the whole. Uh, world uh, with within the Jacobian and Abelian varieties. So, what's the question? You can, you should find the curve F, curve C, with such that the Jacobian has some Abelian subvariety, but this Abelian subvariety doesn't come from the prim construction. So, there is no uh, covering such that this X is the image of the smaller Jacobian, or X is the there should be this is the prim of this discovery yes so so this kind of uh, this kind of uh, sub varieties uh, can be called as a generalized prim or generalized prim urine varieties and they do exist so if uh, if you have an idea maybe i give you like a few more a few seconds minutes to to think if you can find such a curve especially for those who are uh, more familiar with the with the prim and with a prim theory Yes, for, for G equal three, uh, there is no such a curve, yes, because as exercise, uh, we said that one of exercises says that it always comes from the prim construction. So you need to look for uh, genus four curves. And that's the, yes. So maybe I will leave this exercise for you. And now we can go with uh, with another with other exercises. Okay. So uh, so let's go back to our uh, exercises. Does anyone want to? Uh, comment on any of the exercises. I would really encourage you to say a few words. I'm pretty much sure that, for example, Irene, who was talking very nicely about the prims, knows some solutions. And I don't know many of you. You shouldn't, you should just, you know, go for it. It's not. I should point, yes. Like Pavel will not, will <laughs> not be mean to anyone. No, it's obviously, yeah, we're, we're, we're learning. If not, I, I will, yeah, okay, I will go uh, through, uh, through the solutions, through some of the solutions. Okay, so uh, 
I wanted my my aim for today would be to talk about this uh, exercise number uh, five, so injectivity of the pullback map uh, five and uh, and then nine because as you said as 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 we have seen yesterday, Angela said what are the, what are those cases and actually the proof is not that hard, so uh, maybe we will be able today to to uh, I will be able to to persuade you that this is like not not that hard assuming you know the uh, some background but before that uh, okay so before that uh, let's start with uh, exercise number 8 because there is a uh, uh, wait a second let's start with putting uh, some power into my computer uh, into my laptop Hopefully that yeah okay so now I will stay uh, okay so yeah obviously the so uh, after what we've said uh, yesterday uh, you may uh, you may find that the exercise number eight is wrongly stated uh, because the uh, having embedding is uh, is too much to ask for so it's not an embedding but uh, it's just the birational map and uh, we talked with. Uh, we talked about this uh, wait a second i'll try to by the way i will try to put those uh, uh, to put those notes notes online at some point so uh, yeah okay so let's go here so uh, yeah so okay uh, no maybe i can write it once again it, it will be it will be a bit easier so exercise number eight this one I will leave. Okay, so exercise number eight. Okay, so assume that we have, uh, so uh, what we have, we have C, which is embedded into X. And now assume that it's not an embedding, but just a map, uh, uh, non-constant map, X abelian surface. Okay, then uh, by universal property of Jacobian, we have a map from JC to X. Yes, and uh, since C is of genus free, so uh, uh, C is of genus free. So uh, X is a billion surface, hence. Uh, uh, hence, uh, C generates X. Okay, so uh, because uh, it has to generate some abelian subvariety, and uh, by definition of uh, of generating a group and uh, or a, or a subgroup, and it cannot generate the elliptic curve because it's already of of higher genus. So, uh, so it has to generate X. So therefore, the, uh, since C generates X, the universal from the universal property of a Jacobian, this map will be surjective. So that's why, so by the universal property, uh, you have this, you have the surjection here. Yes, you have the, you have the map and you have the surjection. And therefore, you can think about the kernel, which will be some elliptic curve, yes, by computing of dimension. Uh, JC is of, of dimension three, X is of, of dimension two, so the kernel will be uh, uh, will be of uh, okay, maybe kernel, yes. And then you can dual dualize. Dualize, and then you will have here X, J, C, uh, dual, which is uh, dual, which is isomorphic to J, C, and then you will have here E, 
Okay, maybe maybe this is not here. Maybe will it will not be a, a, an embedding. Maybe there will be some connect uh, uh, some more connected com components. But anyway, you have here map, and then again, if you have such a map, uh, uh, then restricting. to see inside uh, JC, yes, you get a map from C to, uh, to an elliptic curve. Yes, so if you have really, uh, and here, okay, so just to write it down, uh, here is, uh, Rational embedding would be not a good word. Okay, so generically one to one. Okay, assume. Uh, so yeah, and that's and, and that's and and this is what we want. And and the other way around is uh, uh, is. Sorry, I have a question. Yeah. Okay. At the last uh, Morpheus man we constructed, could it be constant? Which one? This one. No, the, the the map to the yeah yeah this one to the elliptic okay. curve. Okay, okay. So this is again. Uh, so this is again. This is Abel Jacobi map. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. So first of all, uh, that th this was a good question. Maybe I I didn't comment it on it uh, enough. So uh, you have a map, you dualize it, and then you have a, a subjection here uh, also. So there is a map from JC to E, which is surjective. And then again, the Abel Jacobi map, uh, the, the image of C in JC generates the everything. So the restriction to C will, uh, will be uh, surjection to E, OK? OK, thanks. So uh, you're right. That's uh, that was a good point. I, I didn't comment on it. Uh, you know, this is as usual. You sometimes need this one more line to to persuade uh, others. So yeah, that's that was a good question actually. Uh, I forgot about saying that. Okay. So the other way around is this. You know, the, the the philosophy of this exercise is to show that three is just small. That three is one plus two. Yes, the other way around. Uh, if you have C that goes to E, then again, you have a map from JC to E, zero, uh, because this is surjective, JC, JC to, uh, to E is also surjective. And then you find the, the kernel K, which will be an abelian surface. And then you dualize. And you get here E dual, J C dual, which is isomorphic. And then you have here K dual. And again, uh, here, uh, here you have, uh, here you have a, a surjection. Yes. So uh, again, restrict. Uh, restrict uh, this map, call it, let's call it F. No, F is, oh, let's say alpha. I, alpha to uh, C. No, alpha is for usually for double Jacobi map. Okay, let's go with F then. Okay, and now the question is, uh, so uh, what can F, what can f be yes yeah? so the question is is f uh, generically one to one so why f is is uh, f restricted to uh, so again let's make it a little bit because i'm i i usually i'm too fast in such a so consider C as embedded into JC via Abel Jacobi map, and then uh, uh, restrict F to C, starting from C to K dual. 
And obviously, you need to show that it is generically one to one. Okay, so but what can, what it can be? Okay, so now we know that C is uh, of genus three. Yes. Uh, so uh, uh, if f uh, is not one to one generically, then the, uh, the genus of uh, C, uh, not C, but F, F of C is less than three. Yes. So now you, uh, so you know the, uh, what you can do. You can actually compute what's the genus of 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 uh, of, uh, uh, of, uh, of of this image is. Yes. Uh, Note that again, uh, genus of f of c uh, has to be bigger than one because there are no rational uh, rational curves in the in abelian uh, surfaces. Uh, actually, in all abelian varieties, there are no uh, no no rational curves, and it cannot be an elliptic curve again by the same uh, by the same argument. Uh, because if it was an elliptic curve, you, it wouldn't generate the whole K dual. Okay. So if uh, so, hence it has to it it has to be yes uh, uh, the only option. Let's say like that. The only option would be uh, G of F of C being two and F uh, from C to F of C et al. Double cover. And this is not the case, yes, because for etal double coverings, we know uh, we know that uh, we know how it how it looks for that etal double coverings that you can find uh, the k dual and it is uh, th there exists. I will say, uh, yeah, by exercise, by another exercise, this is not the case. Because for for uh, etal double coverings you have an embedding into uh, one two polarized. Oh, you can write it by barf. Barf results. Okay. So we solved uh, exercise uh, exercise eight. But it's not an embedding; it's just an embedding with singularities. Yes, so you you assume a singularities, and as I uh, said yesterday to uh, Barbara, if I remember correctly, uh, you really have those. Uh, you really, in general, you really have those singularities because you can compute the arithmetic genius of a, a polarizing Klein bundle. Yes, because O of C will uh, become a polarization on K. Uh, yes, and and you will compute. You can compute the arithmetic genus. It will be d plus one one uh, if the polarization is of type one d. So the ge geometric genus is free. Arithmetic genus is bigger. So therefore, you need to assume that there are some uh, singularities. Yes. So that was exercise number uh, eight, and yeah, and the embedding, as I said, is not is not a good word. It is embedding up to finite number of singularities. Okay, are there any questions in terms of this? Uh, yes, then there is this second part, no, of the exercise eight. Yes, which is really intriguing somehow. Yes, so you can. Uh, uh, so you can have all types of, of all uh, degree of, uh, of, maps. Degree of maps. Yes. yes. So how, how can you construct this from the planar model? Uh, 
I have no idea. This is what I've told you yesterday. I have no idea. It's, you know, uh, you know, the thing is that uh, I thought f at some point that, you know, that this is something like the problem of uh, finding roots of polynomials of, uh, of degree bigger than five. Yes, so that you, you cannot do it. You know that they exist, but you cannot do it. And here, I don't know. I don't know if, if this would be the case. The thing is that uh, really the, uh, this covering will be non-Galois. Yes, this will be non-Galois uh, covering. Yeah. So it's really... Uh, uh, I, yes, yes, but there is uh, the theory of uh, covers is well developed. There is a series of papers of Kaznati and Ekadal and so you can... Um, Everything is well understood, but I was trying to do some computation, but it's not clear to me because this is this phenomenon that the, you have the, the ramification divisor, the degree of the ramification divisor is in any case always equal to four. Yes. And then whenever you have a covering between curves, you can embed the, the, the covering curve in a projective bundle of rank um, okay is the scroll has dimension n minus one if n is the uh, cover degree and all so you can say that the topological divisor of this projective bundle restricts to the ramification divisor of uh, c so the fact that this ramification is fixed and independent on n it's it's very strange for me i don't know so i mean yeah uh, you know i i completely agree that it's you know that this this uh, you know th this is uh, uh, from my point of view obviously you know the question is somehow strange yes who who would uh, who would like to to look for such cares but you know, by as I as I've told yesterday, yes, by by the construction of the uh, on the level. Okay, so you know, usually the philosophy is as Angela said, yes, that that we have uh, lots of constructions on the curve side, yes, on the in the theory of curves, and we want using those constructions to understand the moduli of abelian varieties. And this question, why this question is strange? Because the question goes the opposite way. Yes, we started with a, a theory of abelian varieties. And in theory of abelian varieties, we have this non-simpleness, yes? So we have uh, this, this fact. And then what we want to do, we want to understand how this non-simpleness, uh, what it gives you on the level of the, of the curves. And you know, usually the easiest way would be to just go back with uh, Torelli, but since Torelli is uh, is far from being explicit, you cannot do it. Yes. So that's it's why. Yes, you know, yes. yes. But because I you know, I can write you. explicitly. I can write explicitly the the period matrix of a, a dimensional free three dimensional uh, abelian variety, and I will be sure by uh, what Angela said that it is a Jacobian of some of some curve. But I don't know how to find this curve. Yes, this is the this is the thing. So you can you, you can certainly write as similar to uh, Humbert surfaces in 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 dimension two, uh, some loci of non-simple free folds, like having an a, a elliptic curve with a restricted polarization of 2021. So I can do it really explicitly on level of abelian free folds, but then there is this big question mark what happens on the level of curves. And I don't know uh, how to do it. I don't know if anyone uh, actually tries to do it and, you know, and uh, there is certainly no, or maybe not certainly, but I don't know any any paper, any research going on in this direction. But I think that the question is nice. This is yes. I have one uh, last question on this. So do you know? So the the, the theta divisors on uh, on quartic curves is given by the, by tangents, right? So do you know if this uh, uh, the uh, genus three curves, which admit a birational map to an abelian surface? Have some uh, condition on the on the bi tangents of 
that there are uh, now in general 28 bitangents to a quartic curve. So, so classically, there were some projective uh, cortex studied in terms of these bitangents. Mm -hmm. so for instance, there is the, the, the class of lurid cortex, which have uh, which have form a divisor in the space of cortex uh, curves. So do you know if there is some geometric okay. characterization so, of these curves? Okay, again, uh, okay, again, if, uh, if this degree is small, namely two, for example, then you can do quite a lot, I think, uh, because then you can, you know, you can just uh, play a game with play some games with automorphisms. Uh, you know, the thing is that, uh, so maybe you can find for, for some specific uh, degree, you may try to find uh, something. You know, the, the, the idea of the problem is that you can choose any degree, yes? Uh, the, in, in, the, in next January, I will take 2010-22. And so, so the thing is that, you know, there is no general, you know, it should be something which will be like for, for, any, for any degree. And I don't think there is a, a way to do it, yes? There may be some specific, uh, loci that you can you know you can try to uh, describe and see if they uh, if they have this kind of uh, this kind of uh, covering but but it is certainly not general and that's the and that's why i think this question is quite okay interesting but yeah you know I, I decided that if we are on the conference and not on the, you know, on the proper lecture, let's have some exercise which have no solution. Maybe some students who don't know that there is no solutions yet will discover some. Yeah, that's the. Yes. No, this is was an excellent idea from my yeah. point of view. So, but actually, yeah, that's very so, stimulating. So, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, going back to to our exercises, I would like to talk a bit about exercise number five and then number nine. So <coughs> we have a finite covering between smooth curves and show that the pullback is not injective if and only if F factorizes via a cyclic et al coverings F, uh, uh, F twiddle of degree two. So uh, again, uh, the statement uh, can be found in the in, in the Birken Hakelange, uh, so I will uh, at some point uh, I will at some point go and uh, comment on the proof there. Uh, but before that, I would like to make some some other comments because, uh, in some sense, you can think that that this uh, that the, this condition is easy to to check, and uh, it's like. You know, you just by looking, you will see what's going on. And I want to persuade you that it is, it may not be that easy and you have to actually be a bit more careful. So wait a second. Uh, okay, so let's go back to, where are we? We are in the, we are in the bamboo paper, yes? No, we are in the exercises. Okay, so let's go to bamboo. Okay, so, uh, Uh, okay, so why why the pullback uh, might not be injective? So uh, you know, so there is this. Uh, the nice thing is that uh, so isogenies are maybe not necessarily cyclic, but are uh, et al. Galois, yes. And if you so and uh, so and cyclic coverings are uh, defined by uh, curve and uh, and uh, this and torsion point. So they have a lot of a lot in common. So uh, how how to see C tilde uh, given. Uh, et al. Cyclic given by 
c eta. What you do? What you do? You take uh, c, okay? You can embed it into jc, the Jacobian, as usual, okay? <coughs> you can divide this by, by eta. So you take jc divided by eta, okay? And now I also, yeah, okay? And then, so there is some map, whatever, uh, however you call it. Let's call it F. Actually, F dual. Let's call it F dual. Maybe F is not. Okay, let's. Uh, so let's call this map pi. So let's call it F dual because then, uh, again, JC is the principally polarized uh, abelian variety. So it is isomorphic to its dual. So now I will just uh, make this identification. Then you have a map F from JC divided by eta dual. And uh, this map uh, is exactly uh, is uh, a tal uh, cyclic uh, map between isogeny between uh, abelian varieties. And now, uh, if you have this map F, uh, JC here and JC divided by eta, then you have here S. So, C, here you can take the, the pre-image of C and, and this will be pi. So actually any, any pi, any uh, et al cyclic covering of a curse can be seen as a restriction of some isogeny of abelian varieties. Jacobian and Jacobian divided by eta. Obviously, yeah, you can you can see that uh, if if the Jacobian is of uh, type one 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 one, then here uh, you have uh, one d d d d d the polarization. So the polarization. So here is the polarization one 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 one, and here you have polarization one 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 one, and then the d which is in the end the degree d, and this is a polarized isogeny between those two. Uh, those two things. Yes, it is exactly of degree D. And then if you restrict it to uh, to C, you will have uh, you will have the uh, the your your map pi. And this is how I see the uh, the cyclic coverings, which is quite nice because then you you have them. And then and then if you see it like that, then it is easy to to see that if you have a, a map from uh, so this then is isomorphic to C tilde. And then if you have a map from JC tilde, yeah, the norm map, norm pi, JC tilde to JC, it, uh, by what we see, uh, uh, it norm, uh, what I want to say, I want that it factorizes via jc tilde you go to here to jc divided by eta uh, dual and here you have jc yes so this map actually factorizes via this uh, this uh, special variety obviously for for surfaces if you assume that c is of genus 2 it is very it is very nice that you really can see it because then all, uh, those those guys are divisors here so you really can compute it but then so if you have such a such such a factorization then obviously you can do uh, here jc divided by eta and then only then here you have an embedding, yes, because here on the level of curves, it you will have a, you you will have embedding, uh, because uh, yeah, C tilde is embedded here. So and you see that here you just divided by eta. So JC. Uh, so if here this is pi, then the image of uh, JC by the pullback is actually the image of this, of this, uh, of this abelian variety. So this <coughs> this shows you uh, that if if you have an atal covering, 
then uh, then the pullback is not uh, cannot be injected. Yes, this is uh, this this construction uh, shows you the first part. If you have a uh, if you have a uh, yes, if you have an atal covering, uh, then the induced uh, then the induced pullback uh, map is not injective. But obviously, the other way around is the similar uh, is the similar construction because if you if, if it's not an embedding, you can find the the quotient at some point because there is something in the kernel. You can just find the a, a, a point in the kernel, and then you can uh, you can do uh, the lower part of the diagram and then from the lower part by the dualization maps ah okay i haven't said it but it's uh, again like a lemma to say that the pullback is is the dual to the norm uh, okay let's go maybe now to to bilken hackerlang and i will show you the details so this is exactly what you uh, what you want okay so the the proposition uh, one eleven point four three, the homomorphism is not injective. So yeah, so uh, so that's the uh, that's the statement. If, if f factorizes via a cyclic etal covering, okay. The the important part is that this uh, etal covering has to be the you know if you have two coverings, it has to be the the lower one. Okay, so you don't uh, you don't care if f b is uh, uh, cyclic et al or not but the thing is you have to find some f prime and as i said uh, the proof is the idea of a proof is uh, the construction that i told you yes so if you find the f that factorizes like that uh, then uh, the homomorphism uh, of uh, uh, the the pullback yes factorizes by via two pullbacks and it's it's enough to show that the first pullback is not injective and this is exactly what i said the 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 construction uh, f prime is given by a line bundle of some order n and the uh, c double prime is uh, unit section under the nth power map so uh, yeah, and you have a, a natural projection. So the uh, since the tautological bundle p star l is trivial, so uh, the f prime pullback is not injective. This is exactly how how I see it, uh, as I've told you, is yes, that you can uh, you can find this. Uh, this line bundle, yeah, because uh, again, if I write a point in the Jacobian, this is exactly the line bundle, yes, and and uh, it's at and torsion if and only if uh, some uh, some, some tensor, so tensor power is, is trivial. So that's the that's the one uh, the, uh, direction, and then the other direction is again, as I said, yeah, you take you find a non-trivial line bundle. Uh, in the kernel, and then obviously uh, it has to be of some finite order because you just you know you just compute that it has to be an n torsion because if 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 not it would be like the uh, not finite covering, and then uh, you 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 find the the diagram to see that you that your your section factorizes somehow, so. Yes, and then and then uh, you can uh, you can factorize it uh, more and more. So that th this is the, the the proof of of this uh, of uh, this exercise. And now I want I would like to comment on the on this uh, on the statement because uh, you may think that that, that uh, somehow you know it's it's. It's not hard to check whether uh, whether uh, it is injective or not. So I would like to show you the construction that we uh, en encounter in the uh, in in our paper with with Angela and uh, and show you that it's not that easy. So okay, so let's start with uh, h uh, g of h is two. Okay, so here we have h. And then 
take a two to one et al cover and we have C. So C H is two to one et al. So G of C is three. Okay, and then we know that uh, by result of Manford, for example, that uh, uh, that the genus uh, that the, the C is already hyperliptic, so C is hyperliptic. Because uh, yeah, because it's a double uh, cover. Wait a second, and then consider. C tilde to C, again, two to one et al. So what we have, we have here H, here we have uh, C, here we have C tilde, and uh, because C is hyperliptic, here you have a double cover of H, and uh, a double cover of genus two curve is hyperliptic, if you know if it's elliptic, so there is, here the two to one cover to the elliptic curve. So here you have everything is two to one, two to one, and here you have two to one, uh, as I say, plus uh, four. So we have four branching. Okay. So this is uh, and uh, here you have two to one, here you have two to one et al. Uh, and uh, we were interested with with Angela with uh, and we, we call those uh, coverings Klein coverings uh, of H into C tilde. And now we are interested in this map. Okay, let's take uh, some other color. This map F. It is obviously four to one uh, branched, and as you see uh, uh, in the construction, it, it factorizes. Uh, yes, it factorizes, but uh, the the curve, uh, the the uh, the map downstairs uh, is uh, is not cyclic at all. So it's 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 plus four. So uh, it's not uh, at the moment it is not uh, going uh, within the propositions. So we 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 may think that the the F, uh, that okay. So we may think F pullback is injective at first, uh, injective, yes. Okay, but actually depending uh, Deep, uh, why the second I'm writing to depend ding on uh, let's call it let's call it alpha depending on alpha f f uh, star may be injective or not. So it's really it it really depends on the uh, there are two cases uh, we call them isotropic and non isotropic and in one case uh, the pullback f f uh, the pullback was injective in the non isotropic and in the isotropic case it it wasn't injective uh, so references is you can find it in the B O nineteen paper. So it's really, you know, if you have a, a, a and why, why is it so? The thing is that uh, the, the, the construction, uh, this F, uh, because we have all two to one, so there are lots of involutions uh, playing around. Uh, so you have H, which is a hyperliptic involution here. Uh, you have hyperliptic involution here. You have elliptic involution here also. And then uh, you can, because it's two to one, uh, you can, uh, uh, you can have you have a lot of you, you have a lift of involution on the hyperliptic involution here, okay? And then you can think about what kind of uh, what kind of lifts can you have here? And in one case, uh, in one case, injective, 
uh, in one case, the lift of the hyperlytic involution was hyperlytic, and then uh, it was in some sense the only, uh, F was, the, this was the only, uh, F was, uh, uh, what I want to say, I want to say that uh, this was the only factorization of F, but uh, for uh, non-isotropic case, uh, we had a different. Uh, we had a different. Uh, uh, we have a different factorization. What I can say. So. Uh, so again, B O nineteen. For non-isotropic case. Case. We had something like C tilde C E, but there was so this was two to one, two to one plus four, but there was something like uh, here, two to one plus, uh, this is of genus five, so uh, plus eight, and here it was two to one et al. So you actually have, you, you actually have had that, the, you know, you had this, uh, this diagram, uh, so, F star E is E prime in J C tilde. So it's really, uh, the, you know, so this exercise, although, you know, you have to really look for, uh, for your, if you have your uh, morphism, if you have your covering of curves, uh, you, sh you should really be careful uh, because sometimes if you have one uh, way of factorizing it, maybe there is some other way of factorizing it and, uh, and but you don't, you know, you don't see it at first and in the end it, it, there exists and, and your uh, pullback is not injected. So uh, yeah, so that's the, that's the outcome of, uh, you know, that's the punchline of, of this exercise. So although you think it's, you know, it's not that hard uh, in, uh, uh, in precise statements, you, you have to be a little bit more careful. Okay, so uh, so this was the, the exercise. Uh, yeah, the exercise number five. Okay, I see it's 12.30, so probably I should finish now, actually. Oh, which is not that bad. Uh, okay, so maybe, yeah, are there any questions? Okay, so maybe next time I will say a few words about this, uh, about this, uh, Trim being principally polarized, but it's really like a easy dimension count and knowing the restricted, how the restricted polarization uh, looks like for the complementary abelian varieties. Uh, so yeah, so it will hopefully be a bit shorter than, than today's. Uh, okay. And obviously I really encourage you still to ask questions about uh, lectures and so on, because our next meeting is on Friday. So there will be like two more lectures. So hopefully there will be more, more questions about what's going on in the lecture. Sure. Okay, so thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, so I guess, thank you again, Pavel. And uh, I guess we can have lunch now and meet at two.